Hey Level Up ladies, it's yours truly Joshi and welcome to the Level Up Podcast where I help aspiring young females level up to the boss they High always dream to be. you from low quality experiences and that's how Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> that man for the streets, okay? <laughs> Either you're gonna boss up or stand down, move forward or stay stuck, no failures, just lessons, the level up does not stop based on how you feel, sweetheart. Hey girlies, welcome back to another episode on the Level Up with Joshia podcast with your girl Joshia. And before we get into today's episode, don't forget that the merch is live. Happy Girl merch is live. Go and get your shirts, girlies, and wear it loud and proud. You don't date broke boys. You don't date broke ears. I am going to be doing an order sometime this week. So if you're listening to this and you follow me on Instagram and you want me to get your size in the order, let me know. Let me know. I can go ahead and order a bulk. But girlies, I just want us to get straight into this topic because I feel like I wanted to post this topic last week. But me and a friend was having a conversation and me and let me tell you something. We both agreed and my friend is older than I am. And we both agreed on this same very, this very, very sentiment of older men. Red flags in older men. Girlies, let me tell you all. My most toxic relationship was with an older guy. My most toxic relationship was with an older guy. And I think I did an episode probably last year around um, this time about should you date older or younger? But as I experience more older guys in dating, I have more more information to give you girlies. So I'm going to give you five red flags in all the men that you should run from okay don't ignore these red flags now i'm gonna give you a a backstory girlies the majority of the times most women we like older okay we don't like older because we are fast we don't like older because we feel we are better than younger men is that we like older because we 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 relate uh we think that age comes with maturity and as we get older we understand that that is not the case and women because we mature faster than men because our minds mature faster than men we are always on the search to look for a man that has the same understanding as us okay so men on the other hand they are looking for somebody that doesn't really have to have the same understanding as them, but more that complements them. But as a woman, we always search to learn from our partner. And this is why we go ahead and we date older. The majority of my relationships have been with older men, okay? And I've learned something from each of them, which is why I'm able to give you these five red flags that you need to look out for when it comes to older men. So I'm going to tell you something. Um... If you are not smart enough, he will outsmart you. Okay, girlies? Older men, all men are emotionally intelligent. But when you come across an older man, if you don't know the playbook playbook laws, right? The playbook laws are actually located in Pass Me the Vodka when this book drops. If you don't know them by heart, you will get played like a piano. You will get played like a swing. You will get played like the seesaw on the park all the men are very very emotionally intelligent you have to understand sweetheart if he was 10 10 years 15 years here before you he already been around the tracks and he already doesn't know what to do from what not to do so you can assume that you are smarter than the average toxic older man you can assume that I will never recommend you to outsmart the the toxic older man. I recommend you to pack that shit up and leave. Because those type of men are set in their ways. Okay? So I'm going to give you the first red flag. When you meet a man that is knocking on 40 door, has no kids, has never settled down, and has never been married lives on his own and is a bachelor 
You need to understand that this does not mean that you have hit the jackpot. This does not mean that, oh my gosh, he finally ran across me and I am going to be the one. This means caution. This means flipping caution. You hear me? This don't, I don't want you to automatically say, I got the jackpot. I got a man who is financially stable. No baby mothers lives on his own has a stable job, which are all better, bare minimum stuff, right? But don't feel like you hit the jackpot when you run across men like this. When you run across men like this, you need to be more cautious than you are with any other man. Because see, the thing about older toxic men is that they run from something called commitment. They run away from commitment. When you see a man cannot settle down like that girl is, that means that man is not fulfilled. And what will happen is that you will try to fulfill him in ways he cannot fulfill himself. And you will find yourself getting dragged through the mud to please a man that doesn't know how to please himself, which is a direct result of why he isn't in a committed relationship. See, those type of men, when they run from commitment, it's not because they didn't come across any women in their younger years or years before you to settle down with is that they made a conscious decision to not be committed to anybody. These are men that are bachelors for life. You can never change those kinds of men. It does not matter because guess what? Although, and the thing about it is you have to understand, girl, is just because you are young now does not mean you will be young forever. So you need to consider how many young girls he done run through by the time he met you. Okay? What about you makes you so different from the others? Yes, you're you. But you have to understand how this man is thinking. Nothing makes you different from the others other than you're some new pussy. It's nothing else. The first red flag you should always notice as a man is that when a man is at a certain age and he has not settled down, he has no stories to tell you about settling down and he has not been working, opening a business, building a business or in school that we can justify why he is by himself at this time. It is a cautionary flag to tread lightly with a man like that. The second thing in red flags is men, you need to be aware of the older men the older man that tells you, oh, the reason that I, I, th- let me tell you something, older toxic men, they have all type of preferences. I don't like women with kids. I don't like women like th- that, that at this age, let me tell you something, a toxic older man, favorite language is I don't like women with kids or I don't like older women because they too damaged. They love to throw around the word damage. And you know why they do it? Because it plays on your ego. So you're saying, well, I'm so young and I'm so vital. And I'm, so, I'm so inexperienced and I'm so green and I have so much to offer. I'm so optimistic. He feeds on your optimism like a drug. Your optimism and your youth is a drug to an older toxic man. And when the drug cannot get him high anymore, he will go for another hit. This is why they love young girls because they know that there's going to be another 21-year-old, 22-year-old, 23-year-old that's going to pop out every single year. And he has become so good at the game is that getting a younger girl wrapped around his finger is very easy. So the second red flag you need to always listen for when you're dealing with an older man, listen to see what that man say. Listen to his preferences. Listen to the things that he consider non-negotiable. Listen to it. Listen to it. Because their favorite word and their favorite line and their favorite tactic is that the reason that they are still single or they don't date women their age is because older women are damaged. Because you have some younger women that are more damaged than the older women because they have seen more based on their environment and their circumstances. This is for the girls. And the thing about it is, this particular podcast episode isn't going to be for women that are at a certain age that don't know this, you know. This is for you girlies that are coming up that are still in your 20s. If you are still in your 20s, you are susceptible, you are susceptible to be swing by an older man. Because in his mind, he loves your youth. He loves it. You know the reason that Diddy loves Carisha so much? He loves that Carisha makes him feel young. Remember when I tell you older men are running from commitment? And one of the reasons that older men thrive on liking younger women is that they're not only running away from commitment. 
They are running away from the thought of getting older and the grave. They fail knowing the grave is closer and closer every day. So they find another young woman to make them feel as if that, hey, I am young again. I don't feel it. That's why your, that's why your youth is a drug to an older man. It's a drug. And if, if, you don't, if you don't understand that and you allow him to use it, he will abuse it. See, that's the reason why Diddy and Carisha go well, so well together in the, in the toxic perspective, okay? It is because Diddy can secure her, which all women look for. We all look for security, whilst Carisha, in return, gives him youth. But see, you have to understand, girlies, when it comes to men like that, your youth is a bigger currency than his money. You know why your youth is a bigger currency than his money? It's because no matter what money in the world he pays, he can never he can never go back in time to when he was younger again. But he can pay to keep the youth around him. That is why your youth is more valuable than his money. See, Carisha doesn't understand that. So she's gonna she's gonna lose a lot of time. It's two to one and she's having fun with him and I hope so. I hope she wraps it up and I hope that she finds somebody that really just want to be with her. But see, the thing about it is and that girlies, you have to understand this when it comes to older men. They will drag you along and tell you have no more youth to offer. And then they will toss you to the side and find somebody else. Only the toxic ones I'm talking about now. See, the thing about youth is just it's almost equivalent to time. You, can, you cannot pay to get it back. You can do as much cosmetic surgeries and Botox as you want. Age still will come. Which is why you have to capitalize on your youth and you cannot allow an older man to groom you. Which brings me to number three. A red flag in, in, in older men. Toxic older men live on the belief of grooming. I was groomed and I didn't even know I was being groomed. Remember I told you I met somebody. He had like, I think he had... He had 14 years on me, if I'm not mistaken, right? 12 or 14 years he had on me, and I thought I was special, okay? I thought that I, I was the it girl. I thought that I finally, I got the older man to settle down, and that was not the case. When he first, when he began to, when he began cheating, he didn't cheat because there was something lacking in me. He cheated because he wanted another dopamine hit. He cheated because he wanted wild sex. He cheated because he wanted new experiences. Remember I tell you Diddy likes Carisha because of the experience of youth. And that's when I realized that when he got tired of me, or when I started to settle, when I started to settle down, and I'm not saying settle down where I put my life on hold, you know. I started to settle because I started to become a career woman. So there was more, I took life more serious than I did when I first meet him. Because when he first met me, I wasn't, I wasn't a manager. I wasn't none of those things. I didn't have any goals in life. I wasn't going to school. I wasn't doing none of that. I didn't have no podcast. I didn't think about writing a book. didn't think about any of this. So when I started to mature and he realized that the youth is now dissipating and is now being replaced with maturity, he then went ahead and he found somebody else that could have given that dopamine hit. But I didn't understand that I was being groomed to always stay connected to him. Because at the end of the day, when when it was time for me to separate from the toxicity, I couldn't find no way to leave because I only knew his toxic. He was my longest relationship and he was the older one and he was the most toxic. So I had to learn in my years now to unlearn his toxic patterns that he put in me. That's what grooming does. Grooming makes you look at life from their perspective and not yours. That is a big red flag. When you find that a man wants you to fit his aesthetic more than it is to please yours, it is a red flag in a toxic older man and you need to run. Grooming has to be unlearned and it takes a lot of therapy. I am still in therapy unlearning the things that I thought was normal. I thought toxic was normal. I thought rowing with women was normal. I thought women calling my phone was normal. I thought this was just the growing pains of a relationship. Toxic older men will groom the frig out of you. You hear me? And grooming is not a good thing because what do you groom? You groom dogs. You groom pets. So when an older man grooms you, he views you as a pet for pleasure and nothing more. 
Why and why in the world would you want to be somebody's pet? Why would you want to be put on a standard that is below standard? You hear me? That is below standard. The fourth red flag you need to all you need to notice in all the men is that you have to understand this very logic understand this and i want you to never forget this girlies don't ever forget this when it comes to all the men all the men will love bomb the hell out of you but they will wake up one day and you will think you met a new man this comes back to a man that is older and been in the game longer know how to manipulate the system so what you will notice is that older men are very charming. Very charming because they know what to do. So when you meet an older man that is willing to give you everything and you haven't given anything in return yet, be cautious. Do not fall into the trap because what he is betting on is that you're going to fall from him because he knows what you're looking for. You can't find in younger men. So you come to him because he is the older one. He is the one with more options. So when they love bomb you, they tend to use two things, words and money. Okay? Toxic older men would use words and money to love the hell, love bomb the hell out of you to get you to stay there. And then you're going to wake up one day and find yourself in a whole love triangle. Wake up one day going through the same insanity over and over again. See, the reason that you can't change a, a toxic older man is because he is so used to his chaos that the only thing he can do is teach you chaos. See, the thing about trying to change a toxic older man is trying to teach an old dog new tricks and you cannot do it. As much as we love how Karisha is living her life, she can never change Diddy. Diddy will always remain the same. He will always be a man that has the money to have options. See, when you're dating older men, toxic ones, you gotta be prepared to fight for your position. This is why I don't, rec I don't recommend any woman to date a toxic older man. I'm not saying don't date older, but don't date a toxic one. You will always be fighting for your position in this life because, by, because what you need to understand, it's more of you. He knows the ratio is less of him, but it's more of you. See, older toxic men always, which is another red flag, which is number five, they always view themselves as the prize. They always view themselves as the prize because they say that they are smarter than you. They know more than you. Who are you to tell me what I know from what I don't know? Who are you to come and try to change me and I born before you? See, when I, see, see, older men that are toxic view themselves as the prize because they feel they are doing you a favor. Because you are so green and young and naive that you don't really have much to bring to the table. But I have more. That's where, that's where their principles of grooming stands. That's why they tell you, I don't like the woman that's older. Or I don't like a woman with kids because she comes with too much baggage. They tend to use words like that. They tend to use, see, the next red flag in a toxic older man is that they're very controlling. Apart from the love bombing, they're very controlling. They will, they will mold you into what they want you to be for that moment. They will start to control your habits. They will, start to, they will start to control what you do. See, before I met this, this older guy, the, the most toxic relationship I was in, I was such a very outgoing person. And in the beginning parts of our relationships, when he, when I, in our relationship, when he was love bombing me, he would carry me away. He would give me money. Anything I asked for, he would get. He would carry me on dates. He would give me the world. Because he knew that a younger guy my age couldn't give that to me. You understand? So he gave me this love bombing and then eventually he stopped. Because see, the thing about older men, toxic ones at that. See, what they fail to understand is that age still ain't just a number, but it's a mentality and it catches up with them. See, all the men know that in any event, they can lapse back into the, mature, into the more mature habits than the ones that are more toxic. So when I found myself in this, 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 so, this, this is so much fun part of our relationship when he got comfortable with me and he felt that there was no it was no more it was no more reason for him to make me happy or for him to make me feel special 
He started to become a homebody. That's what he always was. He never was a man that used to body. He never was a man that wanted to go to and from. He never was a man that wanted to travel. He did that to impress me because he knew that's what would have appealed to me. And then eventually he started to put that on me. So he started to make me feel guilty for wanting to go away. Guilty for wanting to spend money on hair and nails. Guilty for wanting to groom myself. Guilty for wanting to go out. Because he used to make me feel like it was a reward for me to please him to stay home. Grooming goes right back to grooming. Very, very controlling. And I'm going to give you a bonus one, which is number six for a red flag in a toxic man. Is the, and this is when you start to look in the mirror at yourself. When you are dating a toxic older man, you will start to look old. You will start to act old. You will lose your youth. See, they are like parasites. And they know it. See, an older woman has more game to pick up on a parasite. But you don't. And don't mind me, you know. Don't mind me being 26 and I, and you may feel like I know it all. It's a lot of, it's a lot of tricks that I have in there when it comes to men in general, let alone older men. But see, when you are with a toxic older man, he takes away your youth. You will start to look old and tired and miserable. Just look at it. Look at the girls them that are not with healthy older men. Look at what they look like. They look like stress. They look like depression. They look like tired. They look, they look like it. So if you are with somebody right now that is older and any of these flags that I gave you has come across in your relationship more than once, I need you to understand and analyze why you are still there. See, the next week episode, I'm going to tell you about radical change and transformation. Because I'm going on a radical change and transformation because I have realized now that I am in a different level of my life than I was three years ago. And I have to intensify what I'm doing with myself because I have more women that look up to me. So there's a certain, there's a certain growth that has to continue within me. See, I want you to understand is that your youth curly is, is, is priceless. You can never get it back and let any older woman tell you that. Even me at 26, I, I would tell my 21 self, don't waste your time, baby girl, on these men. Don't waste your time on the heartbreak, baby. Baby, as one man come, another man come in. You understand? As one man gone, another one come in. One man, two man, three men down. I would have told myself that at 21, 22. But now I am telling you this, girlies, you will never be this young again. You will never even be the age you are again because once the year has passed, it has passed. You can never go back for it. Don't allow all the toxic men to take that away from you. I allow one to take that away from me for almost four to five years. And I wish I could go back and take it back. The only satisfaction that I have knowing now, even though I lost that time with the wrong person when I could have been outside, the only thing that makes me feel better is that I'm able to teach another woman and is that I made a bike and I got some real game from being with a person like that for so long. But not every woman is as lucky as me, girlies. They're not as lucky. And I beg you, don't let an older man take your youth and waste your time. Because he could buy another you. You can't buy another you. You hear that? He can buy another you. But you can't buy another you. When you really sit down and think about that, you can't pay to get you back. But he could pay to find you with somebody else. Because there's always another 21-year-old legal every year. Every year, you ain't legal every year. Don't let no man play in your face. Matter of fact, don't, it ain't just older men. Don't let no toxic man play in your face. And if you can be with a toxic older man, you better set yourself up good. And you still push out and find somebody that's going to respect and want to be with you. You are not a fun time. You are not a toy. You are a woman looking to be taken care of. Take your time, take your life, and take your body serious. Radical change, baby.
this year, this is the year of radical change, this is the year to stop playing with yourself, this is the year to get in your body, this is the year to get in the gym. I was with a toxic man for so long I let the man even stop me from going to the gym. And when it's time for me to get back to myself, I realize how much at peace I would with myself because I had a wave and emotion on my own. Curly's you are too. Radical change. And we are at the sixth. We are literally at the half year mark. And you know half time is it's, it's intense. Because based on what we do now, at half time, it shows us how we can finish the game. If I, me, Choshia, know when it's time for me to change and level up, you should know the same thing too. And if you listen to this episode, girly, I want you all to click if you're listening from Spotify. If you could comment on this episode, comment and say radical change. No more playtime. Comment radical change. I telling y'all this because I've been through it. I done been there and I done done that. And when I run up on another gamey older man, I drop that like a bad habit. Because I realize how much time I waste. I don't want no time to waste on no gamey man, and let alone an older one. Who trying to get where I at? He trying to get his groove back. I in my groove now. You trying to get it back. So for, because of that, this a big, this a big thing over here. Don't, curlius. Listen to me, baby. Listen to me, y'all. Love you in this season. Take your time with yourself. Don't let no man, especially an older one, that's probably going to be popping blue pills to get it up in the next few years. Play with your fountain that you got down there. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, girlies. Y'all know I love these conversations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll see y'all in another episode. Bye.